Hi, this is Alan with Simple Men, and today I'm going to install a window blind by Levelor. Um, it's sold at Lowe's. It's a super affordable brand, um, and it seems to work pretty well. So it comes out of the box like this, and the easiest way to get these off, first take this off, take the screws off, put those over here if you need them, open them up maybe so they're ready to go. That way when you're using your screw gun, you're not trying to open them and hard to do and then you lose them and nightmare ensues. Okay, so to get it off, you just slide these off. It can be a little short to get off for a minute. Just make sure these this slides at the top, so just be careful with that. You can move it back, it's not a big deal. So put that over there like that. Then you twist it around, take that one off too like that. And then you take these off. These are the plugs for the sides. And we can just put those on right now. So they have a right and a left on them. I like to start with the big ones because those are the bottoms are easy to do. So this one, I'm going to take note, is the left-hand side one. So if you're looking at it and the button's right here, it should be this one over here. So let's try that. So, yep. So the curve goes in the front. This is the left hand side. So you put it in. It can be kind of hard to put it in for a second. Then you put it right there, get it down, you're good to go. Then the next one is the left top. It says top L right there, so L is for left. So this is the this is the hardest one to do, the tops. Um, you're gonna want to put this flat piece, you can see how they're close together. Those are the backs. So once again, the button's the front, so buttons down here. I have it right here. It sits right in the top area. So you just gotta get those in right there. It's kind of weird, but then you just press it down. And you're good to go. Okay. Same thing for the other side. The big one is goes to the bottom. The curve with the curve. The next one goes in here like this. I'm going to put it in the notch. Press it down. It's going to be a difficult little thing, but it is what it is. Okay, so now you just need to put that to the side. You're done with that for now. <clears throat> so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get these brackets. This little L shape on the back is going to go towards the window. So you're going to want to measure your window and you're going to want to have your um, pencil and your tape measure right here. So what you're going to do is measure five inches over or something like that. It's not a big deal which one you do or where you are, but you're going to want to even on both sides. So you're going to measure over five inches <clears throat> or in my case, I'm going to do four and a half. That's what I like right there. So I'm going to mark that. Mark that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to measure your window seal. So this is five inches. So that's going to be about two and a half is the middle. The other thing you have to take note is this little oblong thing is in the middle of this thing. So <clears throat> this is about an inch. So you're going to want to do whatever the middle is. Um, minus a half inch. So in my case, I'm going to do, because this is about five inches, depending on where you go out here. So two and a half should be about the middle. Okay. So now that I got that, I'm going to take my tape measure, measure this. Good to go right there. Then I'm going to measure this way, two and a half, good right there, two and a half. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be there so you can get this oblong thing on it and you can move it back and forth, it's not a big deal. And we're going to have to re-measure a few times in the future here. Okay, so next you're going to want a drill with a pre-driller on there. 
So that way when you put your screw in, it's not going to um, crack the wood. So you just remember which one you do right here. So that's right here. Okay, we got that hole done. Pre-drill this hole. Now we're done with that pre-drilling for the time being. We're going to use one screw. The only reason we need one hole is because we're going to get one screw in there and then do the next one. It's much easier than having to measure everything out. Okay, so remember your bracket's going to have the L come down on the back. So we'll get this in here. You want it kind of snug, but not too bad, so you can move it around a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now, let's get the next one on, and then we'll do some measuring. Just put the bracket on the same way you did over there. So I have my screw on the outside. So this one will have a screw on the outside, so that way that is symmetrical. Semi snug. Okay, there we go. Now let's measure this. Let's see what this is. So this needs to move back, it seems. Let's forward. So since it's oblong, I can move it back. So I'll move it back the whole way. I think that's going to be the right amount to measure, measure or to match the other side. Uh, let's go forward a quarter inch. So just okay. So there's that. Measure that one. We'll do the same for the other side. So two and three quarters. That's about two and three quarters. Okay. Two and three quarters right there. Two and three quarters right there. Okay. So that should be about ready to go. So I'll put a screw hole in the middle. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. Whoops. Alright. Just snug it up a decent amount. You don't want to strip it or anything, but you don't want it to move when you move the blind. Okay. So we're done there. Now it's time to put on this. And these little small ones, I think this fell off actually. These bottom ones fall off if you, they're not really that snug, so you'll notice they fall off if you put them upside down. But once they're on, they're on, on the wall. It's not a big deal. Okay, so to get it in there, all you do is put it down like this into the thing and it snaps right in. And that's, that's how you do it. And this is Alan Argus. Also, if you want to pull down this all the way and ex extend it, so you see how they're sticking? It'll happen until you fully extend this all the way. Don't worry about breaking it, you're not going to. If you need to, just put your finger right there if it's clean, and it'll come out. So you can see like right here, it's sticking, that's normal. You just need to Open it up. Then go back up, and you're good to go. Anyways, that was Alan with Simple Men.